Well, hey guys, Ethan Threjo here with News for San Antonio. And today we got a call about a water leak that took place over here on the Alamo Ranch side. And we're gonna show you exactly what that water leak is. I'm gonna show you right behind me. You can see all the water flooding down this entire street. Now, sauce is already out here, but it is a lot of water, guys. And let me show you, this is the creek, the drainage creek. And you can see this is almost full of that muddy water and sediment that's coming down this street here. Now we're gonna be talking to some residents in the area today about what happened and how it got to this point. On Tuesday when I arrived here at work from work at 3.30, I saw water on the street. So I started to look to see and it was in the center between my house and my neighbor's house, Rodney's, and it was gushing out. It was just gushing out. So I immediately called the emergency number and the first guy who I failed to take his name told me that it wasn't their fault, that I needed to call a plumber because the only thing they do is at the side of the street. And I uh, shut off my valve. The water in here was off, but the water over there was still coming out. So uh, the plumber person that we called, he said, no, that's something SAWS related. So we called again. We spoke to a lady named Tammy and she gave us an emergency ticket number that evening about maybe 4.45 and um, I called again yesterday morning, my son did at 9.53, and then I called again at 3.30 when I arrived from work, and the same thing, we have it on file, we'll get to it as soon as you can, and I explained that it looked urgent. Um, this morning, when I woke up, I was up here in my kitchen, and I heard what sounded to be like a car that drove into my home, or like a big explosion. At that time, water was coming everywhere in the house, so I proceeded to put towels down. I've been in contact with my insurance this morning and they told me to call the uh, SAWS claim department. I called them, I sent them the paperwork they asked me to fill out. The next thing they told me just a few minutes ago before you showed up is that unless one of their vehicles drove onto it, it's not their fault. And it's a major issue. I mean, the foundation, my house is a two-story house. Right. I'm concerned with my foundation. Mm -hmm. And my neighbor, he's got water all over his house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inside the house is flooded, and it's, um, the insurance is also there saying it's, it's not covered. Okay. In the backyard is all the landscaping is destroyed and everything, so we're just, we're, just, we're out. Saws essentially told you there was nothing they could do, and there's nothing they can do now other than fix what's happening right now. Right. Mm -hmm. And did they give you guys a timeline on when this could be fixed? No. no. The gentlemen that have been out there outside have been telling us that it's going to be um, a long type of job. Um, but they don't know how it's going to begin. First, they got to clear it out to be able to see. And I explained to them and the lady that called me from the claims department, Sylvia Cadena, that um, it was an urgent issue on Tuesday when I called at 4.30 and I expressed it yesterday as well and now we're at this position. Even their own people are saying, this should have been looked at immediately. I said, I tried. I even sent them emails yesterday mm -hmm. with pictures of the small situation. How frustrating is that for you guys? It's very frustrating because you know, I've taken the time to call them and, and uh, let them know the situation at hand. It's not just a little leak, it's a major leak. And um, for them to say, well, you're on the list, you know, and I understand that there's different jobs and they only have limited people but the thing is this was expressed to them as an emergency this could have been dangerous because this morning it sounded like an explosion and i immediately called them because it's right there by where their windows are you know and i couldn't get them uh, to answer the phone i called my other neighbor and i said you need to go over there because i couldn't even cross over there it was like a lake in here okay. implement some sort of uh response team that answers and comes out to look at an issue when we are con calling it as an emergency. And also when their emergency line number people are call, are talking to us and they tell us this is an emergency, why don't they uh, immediately look into it? I mean, it's an emergency. It wasn't shutting off in my valve. So uh, obviously I've had no control of trying to get that to stop. So somebody needs to step up and do something about this. This should not be all our responsibility. We did everything in our power to do. What we're going to do in our situation over there, mm -hmm. we've flooded the house, so it's, we can't even live in the house now. So I don't know where we're going to go. 
with just the wife and I, and we have four dogs. And uh, I don't know, the insurance, nobody's going to pay for so, staying anywhere. So that whole bottom floor is flooded? Yes, it's, we're in one story, and the whole inside of the house is flooded. Wow. And uh, how high would you say that it reached? Uh, like, uh, like before yeah. below the below the knee, oh, or probably about two inches inside the house. Okay. But I think when it blew, it hit the side of the house mm -hmm. so hard that it it forced water into the house. Wow. That's it's a it's a scary situation for yeah, sure. So yeah. I, I don't know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We just have to get somebody out there to see if we can get the water out of the house so that we can figure out what, what to do. From okay. There. And they haven't given you guys any sort of relocation or anything no. like that, like no. any information? No help at all. Okay. In my opinion, you know, we spend so much money in homeowners insurance and then for them to tell us that something like this is not going to be covered. Yes. You know, why do we spend thousands of dollars? Why? What's the purpose? Yes. We have the same thing that, you know, Homeowners insurance said they, they can't cover it. No, nothing. 